Um, let's start with Mitchell's room. It's at the back here, and I want to discover his dark secret. I never did find another way into the kitchen, so... Is it just trapped? Is that what's going on here? Fake Mitchell wants me to bring him an award. I don't know why that would be a thing. Hmm. Elazar's room, the plant in it had a vent shaft behind it. Not so much here though. Transglutaminase. I looked this up, the meat glue stuff. That's real. It exists in the real 2022. Will Mitchell. What the hell did you do to that thing, Mitchell? Sounds like an anti-waffle commercial. Well, I didn't see it as an override per se. But it was just the operator's conversation sequencer. Emotive operators. So Do you know how many security protocols you broke? Well, Morgan said it was all right. <laughs> Even helped me. I'm Operator Skillet in this show. My, you sound like you could use a healthy dose of sunburst banana party. <laughs> this is an AP conversation skillet. Apologies, chef. I'll see my way out. <laughs> And hey, I got one of uh, the IT chief's voice samples out of it. So the real Mitchell, um, who was unfortunately dead, uh, seems to have been a amusing guy and uh, interested in working with the whistleblowers and stuff. Uh, Masson Noble Chef Award. Why? Why does the fake Mitchell want this? What is going on? Apart from hacking, I know that's going on. Oh my goodness. Z that was a little too close. Food request for Alex. Go to the grav shaft. Emote upgrade, yes, from Morgan. Favorite snacks in stock. Man, these two seem to have got along, although at this point it may well have been a, a version of Morgan who had forgotten who Mitchell was, sadly. Well, if Morgan was constantly going around trolling IT by helping people hack operators to do weird stuff, I can perhaps see a reason why they didn't like him. But, uh, I don't have or need a keycard for Igwe's room. Hmm. Orchestrated objective re reclusion? Reduction? Is it? Now that's just like his opinion, man. Hmm. They never did give. Brandy's skills to anyone else. I learned that, but why not, I wonder? Igwe and somebody. Let's hack him. Yeah, Dr. Igwe knows where a lot of the bodies are buried, I think. Um, I seem to remember on the security list he's actually alive somewhere, so I want to find out more about him. Gustav, I guess Gustav Litwin, the pianist. Litna, sorry. I think Litna may have left the station after all. I didn't find him in the school's recording room. Cool, Sci Hyper. Igwe's was recruited because, um, basically because he believed in the psychic powers and the ability to develop them, which seems to have been correct. Moonrock statue. Okay, sure, let's pick that up. Cool. Hmm. Yeah, Lightner in concert. I did not learn anything of enormous value here. There have been a number of intriguing tidbits about Igwe, like how he's trying to use the neuromods for something. There was something about a, a dead relative, I think? Governor 1400 Psy. What is that? Ooh. Alright, no, I don't need that. But, uh, but it sounds cool. I just definitely don't need it. Increases the duration of some abilities that I 
Uh, wait, no, hang on. Increasing the duration of Psychoshock would actually be good. It's not necessary, but it would be good. Alright, let's get into... Let's try, at least, to get into Michaela's quarters using Mimic Matter. What I need is to make a small object, such as this book or file. And then getting out again will require the same process in reverse. Several slats bent over each other are basically impenetrable. Strongest defense on the station. We should meet soon. Annalise Gallegos. Ah, yes. Volunteer data access denied. Yeah. Door sensors. Hmm. Yeah, so the engineering chief. Morgan's partner at one point briefly uh, was definitely up to stuff, had an agenda, although I think the agenda was probably good and I like it, so yeah, fine. I believe she's alive in the power plant, or at least was. Expanded boundaries of Mother Russia. Mensheviks. The Soviet Indian intervention. I don't think that happened in real life. Right, receive no further neural maps from Paraplex's patients. Citing unspecified risks. I wonder whether I wonder whether the mapped mind is you know, dangerous, unusable, or whether it was killing the people they were extracting it from. Does the skills recording process when applied to some uh, humans hurt them? Damage them. That would be bad. Trinstar had a lot of secrets. Most of which I'm no longer privy to. Mm -hmm. So... Killstrup's room. Hey, I've got the keycard for this for some reason. Must have found it in a place. What do we got next? Psy fabrication plan again. Typhon Lua. A lot of bottles of organs and things. Was Killstrup the clinician guy? Clearly a scientist. Or a science enjoyer. Canned pears. ARNs. Real staff, properly recording data. Progress they made since the last department-wide removal, as in removal of neuromods, is in jeopardy. Wiping the memories of the entire department is a tremendous setback. Wait, so they were routinely removing the neuromods to wipe everyone's memories so they couldn't remember what they'd been working on? Huh. And Alex's response is just like, nope, keep doing it. Okay, yeah, um... Alex had got way into management via mind wipe. As I talked about earlier, I believe that this became his practice and uh, contributed to his interactions with Morgan, the most meaningful recent one of which was you know, locking him into a simulation of permanent amnesia because he uh, began to drift. At least that's probably the purported reason. Quite possibly the actual reason as well. Captain Marx's cabin. I'm hoping to find a golden gun in here. <laughs> My enemy's enemy's enemy. I think I've read that volume of the Starbender cycle before, but they never get old. You certainly never remember what's in them, so each one is fresh each time. I do know this code for some reason. Artemis Golden Pistol, however my inventory is full. So... 
I'll just... What will I just... I don't, know, don't even know. I literally don't even. Better visit a recycler sometime soon, but also there's all this food I have to get rid of. Let's eat some fish sticks. They restore both health and sigh. Seems good for you. Let's see whether a golden gun is actually good compared to non-golden guns. So got stats. So we've got an ordinary pistol here, unmodified. 8, 15, 15, 60. Golden gun, 10, 15, 15, 60. Yeah. Okay, it does more damage. Fair enough. Once belonging to the champion sport to Silith Rain. Visited Talos one to capture a connector of his brain. Presented the pistol as a gift to Captain Jada Marks. Cool. So yeah, it's just a better version of the silenced pistol. Actually, you know what? It might not be silenced. But, uh, still, I'm going to use that because I don't care about the silencing of the silenced pistol, generally speaking. And I'm also going to apply weapon upgrade kits to it to maximize out that improved firepower. I need to make some more of these. But yeah, that's already better than my previous best pistol was. Cool. Gun of gold. Captain Marks does not have anything else for me, it seems. Okay, I still haven't found enough of Danielle Show's voice to get into deep storage. Not that I necessarily want to rush off to deep storage. You still there, you? Yeah. You still I do right? have this guy's key card. Huh? Huh. What if MU comes back? Let MU in? But But what? You know I can hear you, right? <laughs> you find it? You back? Come to window. Show me. The hell is this metal and who is this guy? What's going on? Ah, save me the game. I feel like... I feel like this... Uh, the, I feel like I did with the gelato shop guy in Alpha Protocol. I just don't know what's going on or what's safe to do or say. I want to get into the kitchen without going through there, but I don't have a kitchen access key card. Perhaps I could get one somewhere. Let's save the game. Talk to the cook. Rest in peace, Kate Mason. You're not Will Mitchell. I can see Will Mitchell's body back there. I can also see Skillet. Hello, Skillet. You found something? Hmm. Have to let you in. I promise. This guy actually looks a bit like Alex. Go Boulder. around. Beside entrance. That's just the art style, though. Wait. A minute. Okay, well... You're safe now. Hello. The beast, they cannot get in. But... Look at this. We have food, but no water. This pressure regulator... It is broken. System automatic cut off until fixed. You can find a replacement part in greenhouse, I think. <coughs> With water, we can wait for rescue. Yeah, he no really water, has no idea who I am. Do this favor, I'll let you into freezer. That's where I hid all the puppets the beast sent first. Maybe they have useful things for you, no? You mean the freezer you've stashed the actual cook's body in? I think, I, look, I actually have a water pressure regulator on me. I, I think I'm just going to go in there myself, though, if that's okay. Sir. 
Okay. I actually have two water pressure regulators. And yet I don't even trust him enough to give him one of them. This is a... Okay. No, no. I, I won't fight. I wasn't asking you to fight. Close door! It is all that is between us and beasts. Hey, hey, hey. Where the hell are you going? So I'm gonna herd him back into the kitchen. It's inconvenient for him to be out here. Hey. I'm not here to kill you, I just you know, want to know what's going on. Whatever. I'll leave him out there and go take a look inside. Broken regulator, cool. I could probably fix that one. Let's get it. Ow. Question mark. to let this stand. I'm sure I could get out of here somehow. Uh, if this guy's going around killing game masters, nobody is safe. It was a misunderstanding. I didn't mean to hurt him, but uh, well, I didn't hurt him. I just opened the freezer. I, I could like load the game and do what he wants, but I don't think I will. I'll uh, I'll press on as things stand. So Abigail Foy, um, who was running the treasure hunt and the uh, fatal something game and uh, dating Danielle, her transcribe will certainly have something to say about show. Sadly, I need it. Rest in peace. Century. Is Danielle alive? Maybe. That should be enough to synthesize Danielle's voice. Enough to spare the lock on deep storage anyway. Also, I've been monitoring noetic field signatures around the station when I can. With humans, the signal barely registers. The Typhon make a strong ripple by comparison. But with the Coral, my instrument readings are erratic. I'm not sure what it means. The sooner we get your arming key, the better. Oh. I should clarify one thing. I said the signal barely registers on humans. But, when I scan you, it's on the level of a Typhon. Constant chunk not go off. And you. Maybe you see it? Ah, he needs to recycle a charge. <clears throat> so I'm just going to reopen this door because it's annoying having it closed. Um, so that was interesting. The noetic field, which I think is like some kind of psi-related thing. 
humans are only a little bit psychic, small potential. Typhon, obviously, very psychic indeed, um, as is Morgan. Uh, you know, hint, hint, question mark, is he actually human? I don't know. I don't know the answer to this. I want to find out. I will try to find out. And uh, the coral is, to January's senses, confusing. This means very little to me. I have to deal with first things first, so the first thing to deal with is the, the fake Mitchell, the, who is not a trend star. I should... I'm going to put my regulator in there to see what happens. Get water. Okay, that was probably a waste of a water regulator. I'll leave it there's one I could probably repair here. I'll, I'll just look at him again. Hmm. So let's steal all the stuff in the kitchen. Since um, neither Mitchell is using it anymore. Ooh, out of stuff again. Note. Jelly Beer Fat Youth. Wait, is this literally a recycler? No, it's a fabricator. Well, that's inconvenient. Um, I need a way to get rid of things, not make more things. I guess I'll come back and pick these up. The fabricator will remind me to do so because I'll want to use it. Let's see if we can find fake Mitchell. Where has he gone? What is his agenda? He's not from Trendstar. Is he like some kind of... Is he an activist? Is he a corporate spy for another company? Is he a... Some kind of mercenary, a government agent. There's a large number of possibilities. I'm just sneaking around because I don't know where he went. I will try to rescue Danielle Show. Just because she doesn't like Morgan or didn't like Morgan, there's no reason to. Leave her doing an indefinite spacewalk with uh, all these dead people around. There are other survivors. Of course, you know, she might not be one of them, but there's a possibility at least of surviving. Hmm. Did I? I didn't actually find the real Mitchell's body, did I? Let's go look for that again. Hmm. Behind this wall? Ah. Suspicious meat. Oh dear. Well, I've got to eat something, not the suspicious meat. I've got to eat something else so I can pick that up. So yes, the kitchen still has lots of food and drink in it, as expected. Kitchens have that sort of thing. Now... There's a turret here which I can take with me. I will pick it up for now, just in case. Could be useful, you never know. Not that I want to turn a turret on fake Mitchell, but like... Uh, I don't know, I mean, he is trying to kill me. I should probably remove the kid gloves that I'm metaphorically carrying. Where could he have gone, I wonder? He figured out who Morgan Yu is, although he doesn't knows that there's a surprisingly small amount about Trendstar stuff for someone on Telos 1. How did he even get here? Who is he? Um, hmm. The executive suite grav shaft has been turned off. Yeah, because I did hear it and try and react. Oh, okay. Well, fair enough. This time I also didn't react fast enough. And you, you are still alive. Good. We learn to make mines in Ukraine from recycling transport chunk. Wanted to share knowledge with you. So this guy is from Ukraine. I don't know what relevance this has. So at the time this game was made, there was not a war in Ukraine. There's not a reference to that. But, uh, 
Hmm. He may well be up the grav shaft. But first of all, uh, the fitness center. Which I can reach through this stairwell, I believe. Um, no, the fitness center is between the two crew cabin sections, actually. Right, here's the way to it. When he says chunk, is that just trying to say junk in a funny accent? I guess so. Oh man, if uh, Danielle's hoping for her girlfriend and gets Morgan instead, she won't be pleased. Hello. Morgan? If you're here, then Abby didn't make it, did she? I don't... <gasps> Nothing more that I can do for you right now. But look, be careful. There's someone else in crew quarters pretending to be the cook. Yes. His tracking bracelet's from Psychotronics, but the ID doesn't make any sense. He... I think he's the one that killed Abby. I think you're right. If you can, make sure he doesn't get off the station. I'll see what else I can do to help from out here. For as long as I can. You should... Goodbye, Morgan. O2 warning. You should really get back in through an airlock as soon as possible. Like, seriously. Is there any way to get around there and help her? I seriously feel like... So we're outside the crew quarters. Yeah, I, I do intend to kill the cook, but well done finding Chief Show. You've got what you need to get into deep storage. I want to try something which the game may or may not allow for, but it'll be cool if it does. Um. Okay, let's find a security computer. Let's look for Danielle Show, who might be assigned to lobby, because that's where IT is. No. Uh huh. Okay, Chief Archivist. Yeah, that's where she is in the crew quarters. But what if I actually do an EVA myself? I, I, yeah, the station is unsafe for sure. Coming inside is not necessarily a fantastic idea, but it's not as unsafe, uh, surely, as um, remaining out there with your oxygen slowly depleting. Let's see if I can find her, the sweeter to come inside. Maybe help me kill that cook. 